Welcome to the classroom. Today we're going to have a really special story and it's all about fall leaves. The name of the story is Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. by Julia Rawlinson and Tiffany Beek. The world was changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounced out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold and the soft swishing sound of summer was fading to a crinkly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree was looking dull, dry, and brown. Fletcher visited it every day, and he was beginning to get worried. I think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it? asked Mummy. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. Don't worry, it's only autumn, Mummy smiled. Fletcher trotted back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll soon be feeling better. But the tree didn't get better. Day by day, it got browner still. One day, as Fletcher sat under the tree, the wind began to blow. A small brown leaf blew off the tree and drifted towards the ground. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently with his paw. Don't worry, tree. I've got your leaf. You'll soon be fixed, said Fletcher. He looked around, scratched his head, and picked a piece of grass. He carefully tied the leaf to its branch and sat happily down. Just then, another gust of wind ruffled Fletcher's fur. The little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground. Fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard. Then he poked the leaf onto a twig and pushed it firmly down. Now you hold tight, said Fletcher sternly. No more flying around. The little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. The next day, a strong wind was blowing through the forest. Fletcher rushed out of the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of its branches were brown and bare, and little lost leaves whirled everywhere. Don't worry, tree, he called in alarm. I'll catch them for you, I promise. Round and round and round whirled Fletcher after the twirling leaves. Leaves! Wonderful! Just what I need for my nest, said a squirrel scampering up. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher. Don't take them away. The tree doesn't need them anymore, said the squirrel, and off he bounded. Help! Help! The wind and the squirrel are stealing our leaves, cried a frantic Fletcher. Leaves! Marvelous! Just what I need to keep warm, said a hedgehog rolling around. But these belong to the tree, said Fletcher, plucking leaves from the hedgehog's prickles. Not anymore, snuffled the hedgehog, and away he rolled. Help! The wind, the squirrel, and the hedgehog are stealing our leaves, cried frenzied Fletcher. Just then, some birds who'd, watch, who'd been watching from above flew over. The flock of friendly birds swooped down from the sky. They picked the leaves up in their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon the tree was leafy again, and Fletcher flopped down and smiled. Thank you, thank you, birds, he gasped as the birds fluttered and chirped away. He lay looking up through the trees, through, through the leaves at the sky, and drifted off to sleep. But still the wind continued to blow, and still the branches danced. The leaves shivered and shook themselves and began to wriggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fletcher's ears and nose and filled his dreams with a whispering sound. When Fletcher finally blinked awake, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, he could see bare branches against the sky. Oh, tree, I'm so sorry, gulped Fletcher. All your leaves are gone. But then he saw high in the branches one small leaf still holding on. 
I won't let the wind steal that one, said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He wriggled along to the last leaf and held it firmly onto its branch. All day long, the wind blew. The branch bounced and Fletcher held tight. I'll stay with you, Leaf, he gasped. Don't worry that all your friends have gone. But then with a sudden whoosh of wind, the branch bounced high. With a whispered flip, the leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf, the tree's last leaf he had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and all the way back to the den. He made it a cozy little bed and gently tucked it in for the night, but all night long he could only think of his tree all on its own. At first light, he tiptoed out into the chilly dawn. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was damp and cold. The moon still hung in the clear sky and pale stars glimmered. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. The tree was hung with thousands of icicles shining silver in the early light. Oh, you're the most beautiful tree ever, whispered Fletcher to the tree made of ice. Can the squirrels and the hedgehog keep your leaves for the cold winter nights? A tiny breeze shivered the branches, making a sound like laughter, and in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Yes. The end. But look at the beautiful tree. I think trees are beautiful in every season. Well, here is your craft for today. This is a paper bag fall tree. So all you have to do is take a paper bag, and while it's still flat, let me show you. You're just going to cut some lines down like this. Cut, 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 cut. And then just halfway. And then you're going to open up the bag and stuff it inside with something like old newspapers or just uh, maybe some tissue paper or paper towels would be fine. Just stuff it down in the bottom just to give it a little weight. And then you're going to twist it in the middle and twist each of the little parts that you cut into little branches. Then you're going to just take little pieces of construction paper, orange and yellow and red, green, whatever colors you want, and you're going to glue those to all the branches and you can make a beautiful fall tree like Fletcher's. Well, I hope you had fun at our story time today. Join me next time for another story and craft. Goodbye.